Governor Gavin Newsom signed a package of 10 bills to crack down on retail theft today. The new laws make it easier to go after repeat shoplifters, car thieves, and stolen goods resellers. So here's a closer look. A law allows officers to arrest someone for shoplifting with probable cause, even if the officer did not actually see the person steal. Prosecutors will also be able to add up the value of property stolen from different victims and locations. If that total tops $950, a suspect can be charged with the felony. The laws also double probation time for shoplifting and petty crimes to two years. They also allow businesses to get retail theft restraining orders to keep people away from stores for up to two years. And another law would end a loophole where DAs had to prove the owner of a car locked it in order to convict someone for car burglary. Across the board, this is the most comprehensive package of bills that we have ever seen, and it addresses multiple issues that we have had concerns about. And I think the comprehensiveness, I mean, when you look at other proposals out there, they only touch on one or two things. You know, one or two things is not going to solve the problem. Now, some Democratic lawmakers hope these laws will convince voters to reject a ballot measure in November. Proposition 36 would make shoplifting a felony again for repeat offenders. It also ramps up penalties for fentanyl dealers. Now, this ballot measure is supported by DAs, businesses, and some local elected officials. But the governor believes Prop 36 will do more harm than good. The impact on poor folks, impact on black and brown communities, it's next level and it doesn't address what they're saying. I've seen this movie over and over and over again. It's, it's, it's exactly who we're not as a state. And the fact that there's some Democrats, you referenced one, a couple others that are supporting it, I don't know that they have really given it a lot of thought. The package of bills signed today did have bipartisan support. Now, it's cases like this state leaders hope to stop. Now, on Sunday, ribbon officers were called to CVS. Two suspects stole items. Police say they jumped into a car driven by another person. The driver went right past the police department. Officers quickly pulled the car over. They say they found the item stolen from CVS, an unreported theft at a Walgreens, and others stolen from out of town. The items were valued at $5,000. All three were cited for theft and conspiracy. One was arrested for outstanding warrants.